Hey guys, today I want to talk about this Airbrick Smart Vent Booster Fan. So this thing is pretty amazing. I actually received this as a gift and I was compensated for this review. Doesn't change what I say in any way. I specifically requested this. I love what this thing does. It is absolutely phenomenal. Look at this. What this does is a powerful booster fan that effectively resolves uneven room temperatures, delivering optimal airflow. And we're talking about heat and air. So this thing is pretty amazing. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put this to the test to see if it's something that I would use, especially because we have those kind of issues in our house where we have maybe one or two rooms that the air quality is just not the same as the others. And I wanted to put this to the test to see if it's something that I would put in every room of my house. So what I'm excited to do is I'm going to show you exactly what this does, what it comes with, all of the cool features, such as this thing has a dimmable control display where you can turn the brightness up and down. You're able to control the temperature. This has a built-in thermostat that you are actually able to use. Look at this, has two fans that are built in. This is pretty amazing technology. So what I wanna do right now, I'm gonna go over here to my desk, show you everything that's included. I'm gonna go install this and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and then I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so as you can see, we got everything unboxed and ready to go. So let's go over everything that's included real quick. As you can see, we've got the instruction manual. By the way, everything is packaged so professional. I just wanna note, that's pretty amazing when you see something this professional. Now this is the instruction manual, I highly suggest that you go through this and follow all of the steps and it goes step by step. I love that the steps, all the pages are in black. It's just easier to read. To me, it's extremely professional that way. You can go through and see what all of the different, what the digital readouts mean over here on the remote on how everything works. So make sure that you find out what all that's about. Now, these are all the little accessories. Of course, we got our remote. By the way, guys, that is freaking awesome. You know, you could have to get on your knees and have to adjust this if you want. I mean, that's your prerogative, but for me, it's much more convenient to be able to turn the temperature up, turn it down, go through the settings, power on, power off. That's awesome. That's a big A plus for me. Here's a little accessory packet right here. We got the battery uh, for the remote. We've got a couple of screws if you need, if you want to screw them in. You got a little zip tie if you need to be able to maybe control some of this over here. Now, this is awesome. We have a 12 foot, um, you know, cord that we're able to use. Of course, we got all of this right here that you're able to use. And uh, one thing I want to know is is I've seen these before where the uh, the actual cord that extends out is only on one side. So here we have it on the right. Well, what happens if you have a plug on the left and you have to do it this way? Otherwise, you're going to be upside down. It's going to look really weird. But the point is, is what are you going to do if you're on the left? Well, that's easy. The manufacturer actually thought of that. Look at that little indention. You can actually just take the cord and then just go out just like that if you want to. So I love that the manufacturer thought of that. That's that's just a big next level thing for me. So absolutely love this so far. And of course, we are trying to achieve two goals. Number one, increase airflow into any room. Number two, balance the temperature in your home. That's exactly what we're gonna do with this Airbrick Smart Vent Booster Fan. I'm gonna go ahead and install this. I'm gonna give you a quick demo and show you what it's all about. Okay, so I've got a spot picked out in my house and as you can see, I've got it installed. Now, um, I didn't put the screen screws in. I think that I'm just going to do the finishing touches a little bit later, but basically I could put two screws in that are included and, um, and I might go ahead and try to do a better job of hiding the wires. Um, but uh, overall, it's pretty amazing. Now again, like I said before, it was originally coming out of this end, but the wall outlet is to the left. So all I had to do is just run the wire right here and you could just kind of tuck it in. It's got these spots that you're able to do that and, and it does a really good job staying. Now, as you can see, you probably can't see, but the fans are actually running right now and it's pretty amazing let's go over some of the different settings okay so we got the remote right here now I want you to check this out this button right here so after we push this as you can see this symbol right here means the current temperature inside this room we're gonna do it again and this is going to be the heating trigger this displays the temperature that the fan will turn on after the heating system has been running so that's what that's for and now let's go to the next one this is the cooling trigger this is gonna display when it's time for the air conditioning it's just gonna pop on when you have it on that temperature. Now, for example, you know, right here, let's go to cooling. Now, if I wanted to, I can have it automatically come on when it gets to 70 degrees. You know, once it reaches that temperature, that's what it's going to do. It displays the temperature that the fan will turn on when the air conditioning system is running. So that's essentially what we're looking at. So let's go to the next one. This is the actual fan speed. Now, once you go up, it does get a tad bit louder when you go all the way up to 10. And then we go down 
down to zero. And obviously what I'm doing is I'm leaving about four or five and that's just perfect for me. Now let's go to the next one. This one is the screen brightness. So if you want to go, you know, if you want to just turn it off completely all the way down middle or if you want to leave it right here. So I'm going to leave it on two actually. And then as far as that, that is it. Of course, that is the current temperature. So as you can see, this thing is so phenomenal. I absolutely love this. I love how customizable this is. I could, I could turn it on and off right here with this button or I could simply go through uh, the different settings. So as you can see, this thing is pretty awesome. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, it's been a few days. I wanted to put that booster fan to a little bit more testing, just to see if it's too loud, if I can notice it. Also how it feels in the air, if the temperature is regulating. So far over the past few days, passed all the tests. Absolutely love it, definitely highly recommend it. So listen, if you wanna check out this uh, smart booster fan for yourself, all you gotta do is just go to the description below this video. I've got a link that you can go to, you go check it out for yourself. I think that it's pretty awesome to be able to at least maybe put one in each room room to see if that can you know put the workload off of the HVAC system and to be able to be more energy efficient maybe even save a little bit of money which would be fantastic so but uh if you have not already go ahead and subscribe to this channel I've got a ton of different products that I am in the of reviewing like for example I'm going through and taking a look at some of these products like I've got issues in our garbage can outside that uh, flies are just creating a lot of issues. So I'm going to be trying this out. First, I want to try something like that out to see how it helps with ants. I've got all kinds of products lined up. So make sure you subscribe, hit notifications so that the next product that you've really been looking for, it might be something that we're going to cover on this channel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.